Big thanks to ModMic for sponsoring this video. The all new ModMic 5.0 is the best way to create your own custom gaming headset. I used the Bayer Dynamic DT770s, setup took seconds, and boom, I now have a high quality detachable mic. I fully recommend the ModMic, link down below to my review. So just a few years ago, almost every solid mechanical keyboard costed upwards of $100. And then one day, Cherry's patent ran out on their mechanical key switch, and we started seeing key switch clones, and eventually that led to much cheaper mechanical keyboard options. And on the channel, I've reviewed as cheap as $24 mechanical keyboards, so that price has seen a huge drop in the recent years. In front of me, I have a $38 and $150 mechanical gaming keyboard, we're gonna see how they compare. First up is a little introduction of each keyboard we'll be looking at. The $38 keyboard is the Red Dragon Kumara. This was the first super cheap mechanical keyboard I covered, card on screen now to see that video, and it blew me away at how much it offered for the price. The $150 keyboard today is the Corsair K70 RGB Rapid Fire. I've also done a video on this guy, card on screen now to go check it out. It's coming from a much better known brand Corsair, and it packs a lot of unique and gamer specific features. So how do they stack up against each other and what do you get by spending 110 more dollars on the K70 RGB Rapid Fire than the Red Dragon Kumara? Let's find out. Starting with build quality, over on the Red Dragon Kumara side, it's got a plastic casing with a metal backplate, and because of the metal backplate, it still has a little bit of weight, it's not super heavy or anything. On the back side of the Kumara, you have rubber feet and raised feet, and those raised feet have rubber bottoms, that's very nice to see. And lastly, the USB cable coming out of the Kumara is just a standard rubber USB cable. On the other hand, the K70 RGB Rapid Fire is boasting a beautiful brushed aluminum top plate that spans the entire front of the keyboard and looks amazing. It also gives the keyboard a little weight so it's not going to move around and you know you're dealing with a quality keyboard. Over on the back side of course it is made of plastic and there are both rubber feet and raised feet in both the front and the back so if you want to tilt your keyboard the other way you can do that I guess if you're weird. Uh, and then the USB cable coming out of the K70 is a thick braided USB cable that has two end USB connectors, one to power the keyboard and one is a USB pass through. Moving on to the key layout, the Red Dragon Kumara opted to go for a 10 keyless layout presumably to save a little money because there's literally less hardware going in there. Uh, there's no weird or extra special features or anything, just pretty standard 10 keyless layout. It is worth noting though I really hate the font that the Red Dragon Kumara uses. The K70 over here is a full size keyboard and then some. In the top right corner up here, you have dedicated media controls, a backlight button, a windows lock button, and the volume scroll wheels. These keys are extremely useful, especially the volume wheel. Once you start using this keyboard, you'll be using that all the time. It's really convenient. In terms of key switches, the Kumara is using MX clones from Dutemi. Now, I'm not going to focus on the different types of switches because some people may prefer blue, some people may prefer red, and that kind of stuff, but it is worth noting that the Dutemi switches are MX clones. The K70 over here is using Cherry MX speed switches, and speed switches are basically Cherry MX reds with a faster actuation, and theoretically that's supposed to give you a quicker response in gaming, so you do each action just a little bit quicker to give you every edge where you can get it. Now, the thing that's important here is that they are genuine Cherry MX MX speed switches from Cherry. Corsair is a big enough brand to strike a deal with Cherry, and Corsair is actually exclusively offering the speed switches at this time, which is important to know if you are really into the speed or red switches in general. And now would be a time where I normally do a typing test in one of the mechanical keyboard videos, but I'm not going to be doing one today because the speed switches are meant for gaming. I would not type that fast on them and I'd make a lot of errors, whereas the blue switches are traditionally meant for typing, so that wouldn't be an apples to apples comparison because both of these keyboards, at least in the perspective of this video, are meant for gaming. And the last thing I want to cover is the backlighting. So the Red Dragon Kumara has some pretty basic red backlighting with eight levels of brightness and it gets plenty bright enough to see even in a brightly lit room. Uh, it's honestly impressive that they included backlighting at all at the price of $38. On the other hand, the K70 RGB Rapid Fire, as the name suggests, has RGB backlighting in it. Now, I really like RGB backlighting. There's a lot of presets in there, like this wave you see, the spiral wave, reactive, pulse, that kind of stuff. I generally stick to the presets or just a solid color to match the setup. Although, if you really want to get intense with the color programming per key, the Corsair Utility Engine software can help you out there. Okay, so before I get into the conclusion, let's just recap the differences real quick. The Corsair K70 RGB Rapid Fire is built better than the Red Dragon Kumara as a full length key layout, as well as these custom media keys in the top right corner for added convenience. It features real genuine Cherry MX speed switches exclusively right now, and last of all, has vastly superior RGB customizable backlighting compared to just the standard red backlighting. So objectively, at face value, 
the K70 RGB Rapid Fire is a whole lot better than the Red Dragon Kumara. But my recommendation still goes to the Red Dragon Kumara. Unless you need one of the features I just mentioned very specifically and can't live without it, it's simply not worth almost 400% the price of the Red Dragon Kumara. And if anything, this video just goes to show how far the industry has come since there have been more switches being produced and sold that we're able to afford such a nice keyboard like the Red Dragon Kumara for $38. So maybe this is really just a public service announcement that if you don't have a mechanical keyboard, you probably should. Thank you for watching, subscribe to see more content, and as always, stay classy.